sunscreen. It's a must. Use a shot glass full for your face and body. Broad spectrum for UVA and UVB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all this stuff. And yet, the incidence of skin cancer is still on the rise. So what are we doing wrong? My golden rules are that you put it on every day. Don't forget about your lips. Kind of thinking about smaller areas like the ears, both the front of the ears and the back of the ears, the neck, the skin around the eye is very delicate. But in real life, that can be tricky. I, I spray too much. Many people are great about putting sunscreen on their kids, but then I don't see them put it on themselves. And something I'm guilty of, not wearing sunscreen when I have a big beach hat on. Nope. Even if you're under a tree or under a broad brimmed hat, you're still getting that UV exposure from the ultraviolet light that's reflected. And Dr. Graywall says people tend to put on 25 to 50 percent less sunscreen than they should. You put it on once, but every two hours or so, you should be reapplying it. And even more often, if you're sweating a lot, like I love to run outdoors, so heavy perspiration or swimming, reapplication is really important. And then, you know, there are some common myths that certain skin types don't need sunscreen, but everybody needs sunscreen and everyone is at risk for experiencing sun damage. And she shows us a good method for getting the right amount and full coverage. For the face and neck, I really like the three finger rule. So I take my three fingers here and I squirt sunscreen in a straight line from here to the tip of each finger, three little lines. And then I just kind of pat it on the big areas of the face and the neck. Don't forget to rub it into small areas around the nose, around the eyes, around the lips, around the front and the back of the ears, all the way up to the hairline and on your neck as well. Now my biggest takeaway, don't be afraid to get sunscreen on your hairline, your eyelids or right under your eye and especially on your lips. These are some of the spots seeing the biggest increases in skin cancer. Wow. Yeah, I know this really hits home yeah. for someone like Sam, what he's gone through. Mm -hmm. How about uh, the tinted sunscreen? That's what I've been using. She's really bullish on these for a lot Good. of different reasons. Um, tinted sunscreen is something that reduces visible light. And so, you know, it blends in so mm. easily and that visible light reduction helps to reduce age spots. Oh, good. And yeah. tinted sunscreen's a little easier to apply. It doesn't have that chalky residue. And it there's so many tints out there now that, mm -hmm. and it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be super expensive. There's a gazillion options now. Sunscreen's gotten better, and don't be afraid to get it close to yeah. your eyes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter what you, just as long as you use it. Come Whatever on. one you use. Right? It. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Age spots, I'm in. Don't wear a golf glove on, Michael. Oh, yeah. Maybe I need something. Oh. All right. Thank you, Becky. You got